Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 53. Yesterday and day before yesterday, on day number 52 and day number 51, we learned how to multiply and divide fractions. How to multiply and divide fractions. Today we'll learn some new concepts that deal with having to divide one number by another number. Here's a question. The question is, what is the quotient? What is the quotient of 350 divided by 18? This is how the problem appeared in the exam. What is the quotient of 350 divided by 18? What the hell does it mean? Well, we have learned these terminologies, don't we? We're going to do that by looking at a simple example. A very simple example first before we worry about this problem. For example, let's divide, let's divide 7 by 3. We're going to divide 7 by 3. How many how many trees does seven have? How many how many trees does seven have? Seven has two trees. Seven has two trees. Two trees are six, and we get a left. We have a one left over. That leftover part, of course, is very easy. The leftover part is simply everybody knows that it is called remainder. That part was very easy. What do we call this three? The number that we are dividing by. The number that we are dividing by. The number that we are dividing by is called a divisor. A divisor. Sometimes it's also referred to as factors. So if somebody asks you to list all the divisors of 12, well they're simply asking you for all the factors of 12, all the numbers that you can divide 12, 12 evenly into. Divisors of 12 is the same as saying factors of 12. It's just a fancy way of saying factors. The number that is being divided the number that is being divided here, 7 is being divided, the number that is being divided is called dividend. It's called dividend. And the final result that we get, when we finish doing our division, when the result that we get, in this case the answer is 2 here, with the left over of 1, but the answer is 2, the final result that we get is called, is called, Quotient. What's the quotient? Quotient is the result of dividing one number when one number is being divided by the other number. So here, in this case, what they're asking here is what is the quotient of 350 divided by 18? What they're asking is this. What's the quotient of 350 divided by 18? What they're asking is what is the result? What is the result? What is the result? when 3 fifth is divided by 3 fifth is divided by 18 that's what they're asking what is the result what is the result when 3 fifth is divided by 18 so that's what we're going to do here that's all they're looking for we're just going to divide 3 fifth by 18 let's do it 3 fifth divided by 18 and 3 fifth divided by 18, of course we know 18 can be written as 18 over 1. And we learned yesterday, we learned yesterday on day number 52 and day number 51, that when one fraction is being divided by another fraction, we take our first fraction, which in this case is 3 fifth, and we multiply it. The division sign becomes multiplication sign. Multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. By the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 18 over 1 becomes 1 over 18. And that's it, we are done. We're done. We just simply have to simplify now, if it is possible to simplify. We see 3 on the top, we see 18 on the bottom. 3 and 18 have a common factor of 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. We divide top and bottom by 3, the 3 is going to disappear and 18 becomes 6. At the bottom we end up with 5 times 6. 5 times 6 and the top we end up with 1 times 1. 1 times 1 is just 1. So the final answer is... The final answer is 1 30th. What is the quotient? What is the quotient of 350 divided by 18? The quotient of 350 divided by 18 turns out is 1 30th. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. What is the quotient of
what is the quotient of 3 and 3 quarter divided by 5 8. Well now we know what it means. Now it's no longer intimidating. Now it no longer sounds like an alien language was the quotient of 3 and 3 quarter divided by 5 8 is same as saying what's the result? What's the result when we divide 3 and 3 quarter by 5 8? Well let's do it. Find out. Let's find out. 3 and 3 quarter divided by 5 8. I don't know why I'm rewriting. It's right there. We're looking for the, the asking here is what's the result when we divide this number by that number? That's what quotient means. Quotient means the result of the division. Quotient means quotient means the final result when one number is divided by another number. And by final result, by final result we mean whatever we end up on the top here, despite the fact that even if we have some fractions left over, that's okay. That's the quotient. The final result here, the final result here is the technically it is two and one third because we have a remainder of one. But anyway, let's do it here. Three times four is twelve, so it's three times four plus three over four being divided by five over eight. Three fours are twelve, three fours are twelve, twelve plus three is fifteen, so we end up with fifteen over four being divided by five eight. And we know that when one fraction is being divided by another fraction, we have to multiply it. We have to multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 5 8 becomes 8 fifth. Let's divide top and bottom by 4. When we divide top and bottom by 4, the 4 drops out and 8 is going to become 2. And now we have 15 on the top, we have 5 at the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. 5 is going to drop out and 15 becomes 3. We end up with 3 times 2. The final result, the quotient is 3 times 2 which is 6. The quotient, what's the quotient of 3 quarter divided by 5 eighth? The answer is the quotient of 3, not 3 quarter, not 3 quarter, but rather 3 and 3 quarter. The quotient of 3 and 3 quarters divided by 5 eighth turns out is exactly 6. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.